Demanding change, this crowd braved sub-zero temperatures in Kyrgyzstan, hoping to put the heat on the government. People are outraged about the fact that neither the president, the government nor MPs have told the people what's going on. Moreover, many of their MPs are protecting this thief. That man is former customs official Rambak Matremov, one of Kyrgyzstan's most powerful men. He's implicated in a $700 million money laundering scandal involving what's been described as an underground cargo empire. Tens of thousands of tons of Chinese goods were brought to Kyrgyzstan and to Uzbekistan via Kyrgyz territory. So all these tons of Chinese goods were crossing Kyrgyz-Chinese borders every day, avoiding paying any certain taxes to the Kyrgyzstan's customs service. Investigative journalists allege those lost taxes ended up lining the pockets of men like Matremov and other influential business leaders, including the Abdukada family. This is up to Kyrgyz authorities now to investigate and to prove who was making money, who was taking money, who created, who was involved from Kyrgyz official side on this undercover corruption scheme. One of their sources was self-confessed money launderer Erkin Samaiti, a one-time ally of the Abdukaras. He was shot dead in Istanbul this month after revealing his part in the plunder of public funds from Kyrgyzstan, one of the poorest countries in the world. Corruption has become a systemic phenomenon. Corruption was born together with our independence and over the years it's taken deep root in many forms. Kyrgyzstan's government says it's looking into the allegations of corruption, but for now it's triggered these protests, where people say they're suffering with crowded, crumbling schools, old hospitals and not enough jobs. They insist the $700 million should have been spent on building a better Kyrgyzstan and that they'll stay on the streets until they get justice. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.